how hard was it to go out and face the world when you were having one of these flare ups? So I've always struggled with anxiety and depression, but having this really heightened that for me. I went to a really dark place. There was days where I couldn't leave my bed. I thought there was no way out. This was going to be the rest of my life. And this is how I would have to live the rest of my life. I know one of the things you mentioned to our producers was that it really, you had always, always had a little bit of eczema as a child, but it got much worse when you went off to university. That was a really stressful period of my life. So that's when I developed, you know, your normal eczema in the insides of your elbow, in the insides of my elbows and behind my knees. And that's when I first went to the doctor and was prescribed steroid cream. And at the beginning it worked, but over the years, it progressively covered my body from head to toe. It was every inch of my body. And it just continued that cycle for 10 years. You're absolutely right that the stress of university probably did make it worse. We know that that's one of the big triggers of atopic dermatitis or eczema. Other ones we always talk about in the field of dermatology are scents, meaning fragrances and products, colored products like dyes in your laundry detergent, your cleanser, your moisturizer, sometimes water immersion. So people who love long, hot showers because it feels really good when you're in the shower can make eczema flare. Sometimes dietary choices because they are allergens can trigger flares as well. But I think you hit the nail on the head. We, we certainly see with these chronic inflammatory conditions like eczema that stress because of the hormones you produce to cope with stress can really make eczema flare and, and make it take a turn for the worse. Lucy, you say the pandemic is actually what helped fix your skin. So what do you mean by that? That's what made me try this withdrawal process because here in Australia, we're in a very hard lockdown. We weren't able to leave the house. So the thought of not having to go out and cover myself up, up was amazing to me. So it was the best time for me to do it. It definitely pushed me. Well, Lucy, I'm really glad that you took that step. I just want to tell you that you should be validated that steroids are really only used as a quick fix to settle down inflammation. We now have a whole expanded arsenal of products we use for eczema that are meant to seal the skin, that are prescription strength moisturizers, that are non-steroid anti-inflammatories. There's even an injectable anti-inflammatory that could be considered if and when things ever become severe again, which I certainly hope they don't. I think you've done an amazing job getting yourself away from the steroids because we know that they become less effective as you use them over time. And in and of themselves, they can thin the skin, they can make it more red and shiny. And your skin can, as you've already pointed out, become dependent on them. So really getting yourself away from that constant cycle of steroids is so much better for your general health as well as your skin going forward. So kudos to you for taking that step and doing it gradually to wean yourself off safely. So question, Dr. Batra, who, who do you think may be at the greatest risk to develop RSS or red skin syndrome, which is associated with topical steroid withdrawal? I think the greatest risk is when people are not getting better with one level of steroid and then the doctor keeps escalating the strength. So just like what Lucy is describing, I know at, at a certain point she was using an entire tube of steroids every day. And when the only tool being used for flare is oral steroids, then we know there's a tremendous rebound effect as well as the dependency that she's alluded to. So I think anybody watching this who feels like they're using a higher and higher potency of steroids or using it on a larger surface area of their body, each successive flare should circle back with their dermatologist and they start to think about other treatment and management options to prevent the flares. Well, Lucy, you, you sure look great. And guess what? Today's your birthday, right? Yes, it is. Well, oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday from all of us at the doctors. And we're so happy where you've ended up now. For more information on topical steroid withdrawal and some of the treatments Dr. Batra recommends, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. Best wishes to you, Lucy. Take good care. Thank you.